So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best settings in Lost Ark for good and bad computers. So first of all, my plan is to give you two different best settings and tell you which options really matter depending on what type of computer you're playing this game on. Then in the next part I will be taking a closer look at some common stuttering and lagging problems that some players might run into. And of course I will help you fix them and then lastly on top of all this we will go over some Windows settings that will help you boost your overall PC's performance and much more. So if all this sounds interesting to you then let's get straight into it. So then first of all these are the best settings for a good slash newer computers. I would say that if your computer was bought in the last 3 to 4 years and costs more than $800 then you are in this category. But then if you're not then the next part will be for bad slash older computers. So then for players who have good computers and want high performance and high FPS for your screen option unlike other games putting your last arc at full screen actually does zero effect whatsoever. If you want to go with full screen then sure you can pick that up option, but I have tried both of them and saw no difference in performance or FPS whatsoever, so I stay with borderless. Then afterwards, for all settings, we choose to go with the user preference option. On Russian servers and for EU and NA it will be called something like custom option. And then in the next part, which are texture, shadows, character and particle quality, we want all of them at the best options for Russian servers. And then for EU slash NA servers, it will be called something like very high option. And then lastly, the anti the aliasing we want to keep at high setting. Then the motion blur and enchanted shader quality we want to keep it checked. And the same thing for EU slash NA, but these options are named different, like better depth of field and indirect shadows. Then the colorblind filter we obviously keep it at inactive, and for Russian servers we even don't have this setting. And then lastly all of these four post processing options, no matter what they are called, we keep all of them for checked as well. Lost Ark in general has very good performance. And if something is wrong it will be most likely in the next settings that we will take a closer look at or you have ran into one of the stuttering problems that might be caused because of you having multiple monitors with different refresh rates or on the other hand you might run into a black screen or error message. Most importantly don't worry because all of them I will show you how to fix in this video. Okay so then now we have come to the second best Lost Ark settings which are made for older or cheaper computers or that have been bought more than 4 years ago. Or as well this applies even for decent computers that for still for some reason are running in some weird Lost Ark FPS and stuttering problems. So then for all of you guys you want to have screen options on full screen then all settings have to be on user preference for Russian servers and custom for NAEU. Then for your texture quality needs to be on high, then your shadow and character quality has to be on medium, then the particle quality has to be on low, and then lastly anti-aliasing has to be on none option for Russian servers and inactive for EU and NA servers. Then your motion blur and enchanted shader quality has to be unchecked, and these options names for EU and NA will be something like better depth of field and indirect shadows. And then lastly for post processing, all of these four options have to be unchecked as well and that's about it. And then last but not the least on top of all this there is one more setting that is very useful for all types of computers and it's called the force 21 by 9 aspect ratio. This option you only want to check when you are doing pvp, sadly in this game by changing your aspect ratio you can get an advantage over the enemy by being able to see more and here is the screenshot as an example. So if you want to do pvp super hardcore then you must have this enabled but for casual players and players doing anything else besides pvp you can keep this option unchecked and then enable it when you want to fight other players. Okay so then moving over to the last settings tab which is called the gameplay and here we can change few things that will help out on how smooth your game can run. So first of all you want to check the show damage and effects and then uncheck the show recovery. Then for the next category the only thing we want to uncheck is over raid members. The show recovery and over raid members are just very simple things that we as a player don't need to know and can make our game look a lot cleaner and not see useless effects. So we disable both these two options. Then moving over to the show battle and pet and you want to uncheck only the show all summon name and this will make that you can't see enemy's name and it will help 
help you with performance in PvP because sometimes Lost Ark tends to stutter when there's a lot of text displayed. And then lastly, the only other options that matter are in this combat settings. And in here you want to uncheck the skill aim assist and camera shake effect. Like in any other game, you usually don't want your screen to make weird shaking effect when skills are being used. And then lastly, the skill aim assist is more like a personal preference, but sometimes the skill aim assist makes your character shoot in a different direction than you wanted to, so I always recommend to keep it unchecked. Ok so now in this part of the video, if you are using the best settings that I previously showed you and you are still experiencing lag, stuttering, black screen or low FPS, then here I will give you some examples on how to fix them. So first of all, if you are getting weird black screens or stuttering, then a problem might be that you have different monitors with different refresh rates. So for me I have two monitors, one is 60Hz and the other one is 240Hz. And this might seem extreme, but what fixed for me was to go into the monitor settings and make both monitors the same refresh rate. So what you want to do is just right click on your desktop, then click in the video panel and here you can see both of my monitors. The first monitor is 240 and the other one is 60. And this fixed for me stuttering and random black screens. And now the game feels a lot more smoother. I don't know why Lost Ark for some reason uses both monitors. And if they're different types that may give you some different problems. But this is how you fix it. And then the second way specifically to fix lag for PvP, PvE and gameplay in towns is to remove most of the enemy, NPC and all the other types of names. For some reason, turning off the text display fixed this problem because sometimes Lost Ark tends to stutter and choke where there is a lot of different text on the screen. So what you want to do is go to the settings, then click on gameplay and then select the name tags. And here you want to copy these exact unchecked name options. So like you can see, you only want to keep the show name on party and raid and then uncheck each categories, show title, show guild name and show chat bubble and then scroll down and uncheck all these NPC names and that's about it. A lot of players have said that removing this text increased their performance by a lot and their game was higher FPS and stopped lagging. But I only recommend to do this if you're actually lagging and have some type of problems. But then on the other hand, for players whose lost arc runs already good, you can keep all the names enabled. And then my third and last tip is to go to your Steam and click library and then find Lost Ark. As I'm recording this video a few days before EU and NA release, so I don't have Lost Ark unlocked yet. But for example, let's take New World for example. So you find the game, then click on the manage icon, then click properties and then afterwards click on local files. And then by clicking on the verify integrity of the game files, Steam will do a few second checkup. And if for some reason you can run the game, Lost Ark would randomly crash and give you errors, then doing this verified thing fixed all these issues and that's about it. And now finally we have come to the last and final part, in which I will quickly show you few things and options you want to be enabled outside of the game. So first of all make sure that your GPU drivers are up to date. And the way you do it is by searching GeForce Experience, then click on Drivers and then click on Check for Updates. If you have the latest drivers then you're good to go, or if not then download the latest update. Then now let's go to the search bar again and this time type Background Apps. And make sure that this let up run in the background button is turned off. Then now let's go to the search bar one more time and type power. And we will see this power and sleep settings. So then you click on it, then click additional power settings. And make sure that you have selected high performance plan. Usually every computer's default settings are unbalanced. But by putting this option on high has statistically shown to improve FPS in Lost Ark. And then lastly let's go to the search bar one last final time and type game mode and then a game mode setting should appear. So you click on it and then click on Xbox game bar and make sure that this Xbox game bar button is turned off. Then we select the second settings called captures and let's make sure that again in the background recording or any type of recording is turned off as well. And then let's select the third settings called game mode and this time we want this game mode option to be enabled. And then last but not the least let's click on the graphic settings in the top right corner and enable this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If you remember the previous part in which I showed you how to fix weird bugs and stuttering, well if none of them worked, here is one last thing you could try out. To enable this variable refresh rate as well and see if it works now. For me personally the first option fixed my problems with the lost arc, but you are feel free to experiment with this one last option and that's about it. 
So with all this said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Lost Ark settings that helped you and might help other players, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace. Yo, I'm here for